In the previous episode, we got acquainted with the Greater Racket-Tailed Drongo. But it turns out the Greater Racket-Tailed Drongo has a close relative who looks almost the same. Even their names are almost the same. The bird species in question is the Lesser Racket-Tailed Drongo or Dicarus rumifer. It's the aviary! Hi, Samagum guys! Hi, guys. Today we will be releasing medium sized birds. It is a lesser racket tailed drongo. Are they male or female? One female. One male. On their tails, there is a kind of antenna. Their tail is now off but later their tail will grow back. These birds are monomorphic. Male and female birds are difficult to distinguish. Their physique is the same. So to distinguish between males and females, we can pay attention to their voices. Male birds have more varied voices. He can imitate many other birds' voices. The variation of the female voice is less than a male one. Okay, let's release them now. Get ready, guys. Let's begin. Ready. One, two, three. Let's get out. Uh, he entered the cage again. I think he likes being in a cage. We also take out the female bird, guys. Hey, 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 bro. If we look at them at a glance, the lesser racket-tailed drongo has a similar appearance to the greater racket-tailed drongo. Their fur is glossy black, and their long tail is equipped with two antennae at the end. However, the lesser racket-tailed drongo are crestless. The lesser racket-tailed drongo's body size is smaller than their relatives, and their heads look flat. In addition, the tip of their tail is straight, shaped like a wedge. Unlike the tail end of the greater racket-tailed drongo, which is gyrate and shaped like a fork, Another difference lies in the number of subspecies. While the greater has 13 subspecies, the lesser racket-tailed drongo has only four races. Even so, the distribution area of these birds is quite wide. They can be found in India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Southern China, to Southeast Asia. But in Indonesia, 
There are only one subspecies of these birds, namely Dicarus ramifer, which lives in Sumatra and the western part of Java Island, compared to the greater racket-tailed drongo in Sumatra, Borneo, and Java. The distribution area of the lesser racket-tailed drongo in Indonesia is much narrower. Their habitat is in tropical and subtropical rainforests, primary and secondary forests, and mountainous areas with elevations between 1,000 and 2,500 meters above sea level. They prefer to forage under a closed canopy. They rarely come out into the open than the greater racket-tailed drongo. Despite these differences, the lesser racket-tailed drongo has more in common with its bird relatives. First, they are very clever. The lesser racket-tailed drongo often steals and snatches food from other hunting birds in the form of insects and fruit. Because of this habit, it is not surprising that they have agile maneuvering movements. Second, they sometimes join mixed flocks with other birds and sometimes become the leaders of small flocks of birds. They will squeal when they feel danger, making the birds they lead to disperse. Third, they are territorial birds. They dare to face even the birds of prey larger than them, including eagles and crows. Fourth, they have varied voices. They are also good at imitating the sounds of other birds. Fifth, they have unique habits. They like to bathe by throwing themselves in the river, then immediately fly up again to dry their bodies and fur. And just like their relatives, luckily, the lesser racket-tailed drongo is classified in the IUCN list of least concern. However, these two bird species are sometimes targeted by hunters. And in Indonesia, if we check the marketplace, we can find several greater and lesser racket-tailed drongos for sale on the internet. Although their status and population in the wild are still relatively safe, it is quite unfortunate. We should just let them live freely in the wild. Do you agree?